Hey guys, Marco here, welcome back to another lesson. Today I'm gonna to show you how we can use the capo to create beautiful sounding chords. Now I'm gonna use the capo in a kind of a different way. Rather than just use it on six strings, we're going to use it only on four strings. And what that does is going to tune your guitar into this beautiful uh, F sharp minor key. Now the F sharp minor key loves the note B and E. And that's the reason why by tuning the bottom four strings into like an F sharp minor key and then the top two strings open with the note B and E, uh, you know, it's easy to come up and create beautiful sounding chords. You can use all the basic chord shapes that you already know. E minor sounds beautiful. The C major sounds beautiful. Uh, the A minor sounds beautiful. The F major 7 sounds beautiful. You can also play the G major or the G major like this. You can also play, for example, the D on the 11 chord. So as you can see, you can use all the basic chords that you already know and then I'm gonna show you also how to play some kind of different chords. Now you can get the tab, check my Patreon page and subscribe to this channel if you wanna keep up with all the upcoming lessons. Now, let me show you the very first thing that I played when I used the capo like this. Now guys, one thing really important you have to remember that now, even though we're using the E minor shape, for example, we're not playing an E minor chord, we're playing an F sharp minor seven chord at 11. If I play a C major chord shape, Obviously I'm using a C shape, but this is a D major chord. It's actually a D add nine chord. An A minor chord will be a B minor chord. B minor add 11. And so we have to consider these chords. Obviously if we play with other people, you can't say that you're playing an E minor chord. That would be an F sharp minor seven chord. Now I came up with this musical idea and it sounds like this. Now the first chord that I'm playing is this one. So it's kind of an E minor add nine shape and I'm only playing open two, four and open. I play six, four, six, five and, and, and four and then the three open. And then the next chord, I'm putting down this uh, bass note on the fret number seven. So it's three, five, seven. And then I play three open strings. So the D, the G and the B string and then the G string again. Then I go up one fret, so I'm fret number eight, and I pick all the strings. Beautiful, beautiful sounding chord. So. Two, three, and four. I, I'm going to repeat the same thing, just the first chord, the second, and then just the C major shape. So three open on the third string and the fret number one on the B string. And you can actually, you know, just play with the rhythm a little bit. When you have, when you have these type of chords, you can let it ring out. And then strum twice if you want on just, or just pick the string twice. Just two strings. So we already identified a very simple and beautiful uh, way of playing chords here. Very simple shape, super simple shape, and just a basic C major chord that sounds beautiful. I can also add the thumb slap if I want. So I have it twice, always on the second and fourth beat. So one, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. So you can repeat this one twice and then we can come up with something different. 
Now in the second section, I was actually strumming the chords. And this is where I really, really, really like uh, this way of using the cable. So the chord progression sounded like this. So as you can see guys, there is a little bit more movement, a little bit more going on, and we are playing this chord shape, which is just like the C major chord shape. We're gonna go all the way to the fret number 12, so when you see the double dot on your guitar, you're gonna put down the fret number, the finger number three, and then just play a C major chord. So you have 12, 11, open, and um, 10. Now for the first chord, which is an F sharp minor chord, I'm playing all the strings two strums. And then I'm going to slide all the way down to the fret number, considering the capo, five, same chord uh, shape, and I am playing, I'm not playing the low E string though, so I'm playing from the fifth string to the first. And then slide back to the C, so. Second time, I'm gonna finish with an A minor chord, which is a beautiful sounding chord. So I will have. Three. Let it ring out. Three. Also play with the voicing of these chords and just play something like uh, just a basic chord and then on the B string I'm gonna add the fret number 12 same thing for the second chord and the third chord back to the last three chords. So guys, this is just, you know, a very simple idea, a very simple way to use the cable. And you can really come up with a lot of different things using the same cable on the fret number two. This is just one very simple idea. And I hope that you get inspired and then you learn this chord and then you come up with your music, with your chord progressions. So, you can also put the capo uh, you know, on a different fret and see what happens. I honestly really love the fret number two. I like this F sharp minor key, um, you know, and it feels like the guitar is kind of in a beautiful open tuning where we're actually using the capo, so we don't have to change the tuning, we're using the capo. And the chords are super simple, so super, super happy that, you know, I was able to actually come up with this thing and show it to you and share it with you. So. Um, Hopefully you got inspired. Let me know if you liked the lesson guys and I'll see you next time.